they just caught the guy. No, they oh. didn't. They found the guy. 12 News was with the Eager family at their Hartford home in November as they learned Milwaukee police made an arrest in the hit and run crash that left the family battered and bruised. I'm angry. You almost killed my son. Both of them. You could have killed our whole family. And now another setback. The district attorney's office tells 12 News they can't identify the driver, therefore can't charge anyone. I honestly thought that they would be charged with something, but to have absolutely nothing was really like a good slap in the face. Surveillance cameras around this intersection captured the hit and run, but police won't release that video because they say it's too graphic and they don't think it'll generate leads. But the video did help police track down the car, a rental with Texas plates. In a search warrant obtained by 12 News, it says the car had signs of damage to the hood, bumper, and windshield. But despite fingerprints and crash data, it wasn't enough to pin the crime on any one person. Mom told us by phone Thursday she's not giving up. There's something more needs to be done. This isn't just a, a little hit. I get we weren't killed, but this is a felony offense, and they hurt my family. And I just think it's completely out of line that, that nobody is getting in trouble for this. In Milwaukee, Hillary Mins, WISN, 12 News. Milwaukee police tell 12 News the hit and run remains an open investigation.